Hey, what is up guys? Today we are going to make a level manager. Now, what is a level manager exactly? It is going to be an object with a script on it, of course, that is going to contain where exactly the spawn point for the player is, uh, where he goes when he dies, how many lives does he have, and also the winning condition. So, um, well, before we get started, I'd like to address this bug, the one that we just saw right now, where our player would stop in the air. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm going to try to recreate it, but basically our player stops in the air and he just starts falling. And the reason that is all like this. So the reason that is, is because he thinks he's grounded at that point. And now, if you remember, uh, in order to know if the player is grounded or not, the rays on his side over here, they have to collide with something. And what happens in the middle of the air sometimes is, sometimes, the physics is not calculated uh, at the very same time as the, the player moves. So what happens is his rays, these things, actually collide with himself. So the player collides with himself and he believes that he's not grounded anymore. Now there is multiple ways we could fix this. We could simply take these ray and just lower them to uh, the feet of the player. Or we could make the player ignore ray cast. We are actually going to take the easy way and you take your play over here and change the layer for ignore ray cast. And now if you play, you shouldn't be getting that problem anymore. So that's one problem out of the way. Uh, if you guys find any more issues, please let me know in the comment section below and we'll fix them as soon as possible. So next thing we need to do, we actually need to start making our level manager. So let's just close this and we are going to create ourselves a new object it is going to be an empty game object this time so make sure you create a new empty game object I am going to center it like I always do and let's put a a uh, tag on it not a tag a uh, icon so click on this icon over here and we're gonna pick say this yellow band here and let's name this level manager okay now level manager is also going to take a script a custom script that we're gonna make so let's right click on our script folder create a level manager script let's open it up okay so up here we are going to declare ourselves some fields so let's clean up our script like we always do and then let's say private vector3 actually let's make let's make this public so public vector3 spawn position now this one is quite uh, explanatory, so whenever we die or whenever we we start the game, we are going to redirect our player to the spawn position, so we need to keep that somewhere. Okay, next we are going to take, actually we're going to take a reference to our player, so let's say public transform player transform. So not not to our actual player, but to our a transform of the player okay now what else is this guy going to do what else is the level manager going to do it is also going to keep track of the lives of the player so let's say uh, this one is going to be private so private int and we're gonna say hit point simply let's make this three for now so default value to three hit point or three live if you prefer Let's also keep track of a score, so private int again, let's call this score, we start at zero of course, and then we're gonna go down here and write a function actually, the update function. Now this is going to be called every single frame if you remember. Okay, so let's start with a simple call, we'll do if player transform dot position dot y is lower than say 10. So if the player, if the player's position, so this guy, if his Y component in the position transform is lower than 10, so if he goes about here, then we're going to do something about it. We don't want our player to, to go down that fall. So we'll do player transform, that position is now, is now equal to spawn position we're gonna teleport him back up okay let's try this out in game 
but it's not going to work just yet and the reason is quite simple if you go here on your play, oh actually you gotta save so just save this put the level manager script on top of our level manager object and now if we take a look here we don't have a player transform and the spawn position is 0 0 0 so we're gonna fix that let's go ahead and take our player just click and hold and drag him right here in the player transform field you should now see whatever the name of your player object is and then in parentheses his transform now if we leave that like if we leave it like that and we just go ahead and try to play this if we fall below 10 in y then it's going to teleport us at 0 0 0 now 0 0 0 is right here it's like literally on top of our level manager we don't really want this to be our spawn position so we'll modify that let's put it at say uh, 5 in y so it's going to be right here now let's go ahead and play this and we get a really weird bug because we made a small typo in our code so basically if we go over here it says if the player transform dot position dot y is lower than 10 not minus 10 so uh, assuming the player is below that point over here if you just imagine a line if he's below that point then he's going to be teleported back here which is also behind, oh, no, not behind, but below that bar. So let's just go in our code and fix this little bit of code here. So instead of saying it is lower than 10, we're going to do is lower than minus 10. Okay, so let's try that again. Our player is over here. Let's fall down and see what happens. He is being teleported back up. Good. So now uh, we can also do hit point minus minus. So let's go ahead and do that back in our code so if we go below that point let's do hit point minus minus which is basically the equivalent of doing hit point is equal to hit point minus one it's the same exact thing actually I'll just leave it there okay now what else do we want to do after that we just teleported our player we removed a HP from him we're also going to check if he has any more HP so if hit point is now below or equal to zero then it's real dev so you know it's a let's do a debug.log for now we'll do uh, our player failed or actually let's just call it failure close this off and now let's try that in game so we die once twice and the third time it should say failure over here so this should be our call a little, a little bit later on when we have a menu this would be uh, pretty much just redirect our player to the menu we're actually going to fix something that bothers me a little bit instead of using a vector 3 for a spawn position we're actually going to use a transform so let's put that over here now we also have to modify this piece of code where it says player transform dot position is now equal to a transform dot position. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'd like to have an object that defines the position of the spawn point. So now we can go ahead and create a, ourselves a new empty game object. I'll make it a children of the level manager and I'll call this one spawn point. I'll also assign it a icon and move it to wherever I'd like in the map. So about here. But now I have a visual representation of that spawn point, and it's not only like hard coded values in a vector 3. But remember, now that it is a transform, you need to manually assign it inside of the level manager. So over here, if you click back on your level manager, in the level manager component, you are going to see spawn position is equal to none. So make sure you drag and drop this right in the good field. Okay, again, let's always test it out so we don't make any mistakes and it should work now say we were to move this at runtime so while the game is running I'm going to put my spawn point about here and then try to die it is now a dynamic spawn point and you could move it in the middle of the game okay 
Okay, so that's about it for this episode, guys. In this one, we've created our level manager. We also created a uh, out of bounds condition, we could say, that actually kills our player and he loses an HP. In the next one, we're actually going to make uh, something quite hard to understand at first when you start coding, but we're going to be calling our level manager from other scripts so the player is going to be able to communicate with that level manager script. Um, it's going to be useful for whenever the player hits the win point. So say we, we just make another prefab that is like the uh, jump pad or a teleporter and this one is going to be win point. So whenever he does that, the player, we actually call the level manager from the player to tell him, hey, we, we pretty much won so let's do something. Okay guys, so I'll see you in the next episode, of course if you have any question, please comment, and if you like this, please, well, like, and also subscribe for more tutorials, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, peace.